Hi there, I'm Tasha from Get Organized HQ, and in case you hadn't heard the news, I got married a few weeks ago, and today I'm gonna share with you 10 of my top finds from my wedding registry. So we had so many friends and family give us lovely gifts when we got married, and we're still organizing and sorting through all of them, but so far, these are top 10 favorites of mine. Now. Even if you're not creating a wedding registry or shopping for someone who's getting married, these are perfect any occasion items. So add them to your own wish list or pick up a little treat for yourself or gift them to your neighbor for their birthday. They would absolutely love these, I'm sure. So definitely not wedding exclusive items, but these are just some new finds to me and I wanted to share them with you. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up click subscribe so you don't miss any other other videos and hit the bell to turn on notifications. And also stay tuned to number 10 because it is my new favorite toy. I am completely hooked. It's less of a splurge than you think it is and I think you're gonna love it. So stay tuned and let's dive in. So number one on my list is this mason jar soap dispenser. It is honestly really simple and really affordable, but I think that it is completely adorable. I have one for every room in this house that has soap, and I just think that it elevates the look in any bathroom. So it's simple, but it makes me happy. I think it would make you happy too. So, so affordable. So if you need just like a little pick me up, a little bit of happy mail, go order this off of Amazon. I'll link it below. Super cute. Just a very basic soap dispenser in a mason jar. Number two on my list is the Progressive International Pro Keeper Food Storage. I know that's kind of a mouthful, but if you know about OXO or Tupperware, it's kind of similar to that. It is food storage and I got the baking set in particular. So this is a set to store your flour and sugar and baked goods. And each one of these containers, it has a little clip on the front, so it clips closed. And then it has a seal, so you do have to pull a little bit to get it to open up because this rubber seal right here is kind of giving you a little bit of resistance. And then every container, that this is what I think is really cool about these, Every container comes with some sort of little gadget to help you scoop out whatever the container is designed for. So this one is designed for flour and you can see that little bar. It's there to kind of level off your scoop whenever you scoop out the flour. Um, the sugar container has a little flip top open so you can pour a little sugar out or you can open the whole top like this. The brown sugar has a brown sugar keeper. The powdered sugar, it came with a little teaspoon scoop. I know also, I haven't put anything in these yet, but they have this really little size. Let me see if I can get the glare off of that. There we go. They have this really little size. This would be perfect for sprinkles, or I think I'm gonna put some baking soda and baking powder. And if you can see, let me see if I can get that to not be so backlit. Um, there you go. So it has a little grate right there. And so you can sprinkle out or you can pull it back. So you can just stick like a teaspoon or something in there and scoop these out. So it comes with two of these. It comes with one for powdered sugar, brown sugar, regular sugar, and flour. And I really am enjoying them so far. Now, they don't stack in a modular fashion like OXO and Tupperware do, but I really like the solid seal on them. If you've ever used OXO or if you watched our review video of OXO versus Tupperware, which we'll also drop in the links below, um, the OXO container, the top can kind of slip off whenever um, you put something like flour or cornstarch in there that is really kind of, it almost lubricates the seal and the top can just slip off of it. Um, but I really like the look of OXO with the clear container. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds of OXO and Tupperware with these, in my opinion. But if modular stacking is important to you, then these probably aren't right for you. But I personally am loving them. And you can also buy um, them one off on Amazon. You don't have to buy all of them together, I don't believe. All right, so number three is actually, I'm gonna back up so I can show you. It's what these are in. It is this teal rolling cart off of Amazon. So it's the three tier rolling cart, just like this. I got it in teal and I am using it as a baking cart. So. I'm using this to store all of my baking goods and I'm hoping to put some 
mixing bowls underneath. I'm hoping to just make it into an easy little cart for whenever I'm doing baking. We love the three tiered carts. Laura has done an entire review on them. I'll link that below as well so that you can check that out. Um, but if you're looking for a rolling cart, definitely check out Amazon. They have all sorts of colors and they're really affordable. Number four is actually, this wasn't on the wedding registry. This was a treat to myself on the honeymoon, but I threw it in here because you can get it on Amazon and I think it's so adorable. It is this pitch, pitcher from Paula Dean. It says fresh squeezed sunshine y'all. And I saw this in the Paula Dean store on our honeymoon in Gatlinburg. And I just thought it was so cute. It is dishwasher safe according, microwave and dishwasher safe according to the bottom. Um, I got mine for $25. And instead of using mine for lemonade, I am using it as my utensil holder. So I'm just setting it on my counter, putting, you know, serving spoons and things like that coming off the top. And I think it's adorable. So you can get this on Amazon or if there's a Paula Deen store near you, that's where I picked mine up. Number five is another item that is on wheels and it is this laundry basket. Now, this is gonna kind of cover my face. There's the laundry basket. Now, this laundry basket, the thing that I think is really cool about it is it has a handle and wheels on the bottom and so you can just tilt and roll and pull your laundry wherever you need to. So really easy to get the laundry from the bedroom to the washing machine in this cart. I think it's super clever. It was super affordable as well. And so if you have an old broken laundry, laundry basket like I had before getting this one, or if you're just looking for something to make your life a little bit easier, I really like this laundry basket. Now, number six is something I didn't really know that they made before this, and it is an oven liner. Now, this is just a really simple piece of, I'm, I'm honestly not even sure what, it's not exactly plastic. Um, I'll pull one out for you here. Just this black sheet, very thin material. You roll it out, so this one came with three, and you stick it in the bottom of your oven, and it's gonna catch anything that spills in your oven. And so we're in an apartment right now, and when we move out, I can just pull out this black sheet and not worry about cleaning off the bottom of my oven, and that sounds amazing. So these are so affordable, and I would highly recommend picking one up to put in the bottom of your oven so that you can save yourself the hassle of all of that oven cleaning and scrubbing because that's not fun for anyone. So definitely check these out. Like I said, super affordable. It came in a pack of three, and it says that they're reusable too. So amazing value to save yourself a lot of headache later. Now, number seven, it's nothing new. I just hopped on the bandwagon and we got a set of the Amazon Alexa Echo Dots. Now, I had not had these in my home before. My husband's parents had them. Laura uses them and we've been using them for less than a week now um, at the time of filming this video. And I really, really enjoy them. I love being able to ask Alexa to just play music throughout the whole house. Um, I love how the speakers all connect to each other. So any room that I'm in, we have it in multiple rooms in our house. I can just keep hearing the music without having to blast it from the kitchen or something like that. And it's been really cool to get her to just give us reminders. I remember the other night we were going to bed and I needed to take something to my mom in the morning. I was gonna see her the next day. She left something at the apartment and I didn't wanna forget. So I just told Alexa to remind me to grab the items for my mom. And in the morning, she told me exactly what I had told her, which maybe this is old news to all of you, but I thought it was super cool. So if you haven't gotten an Alexa yet, I would highly recommend it. The Echo Dot is honestly really affordable. You just need the dot. I think I had wondered going into this, like, do I need to pick up multiple things? Like, is there some sort of base hub or something that I need to get to make this work? And we just got three of these Echo Dots and we have one in um, multiple rooms and we're really enjoying them so far. Okay, number eight, this is a really big item. So it may not be a perfect fit for everyone, but it is a 12 quart Calphalon, Cal Calphalon, is that how you pronounce that? I may be butchering that, sorry. But it is a 12 quart stock pot. So let me see if I can pull it off here, get the little mason jar out of the way. This huge, huge stock pot. This can make a serious amount of soup or sweet tea, people. Like serious, serious sweet tea going on here. But I am so excited about this. I am such an entertainer. My parents had people over all the time when we were growing up and I love having people in my home and I am really excited to have a huge pot 
to make as much soup as I need because I had one of those baking sets of pots and pans, you know, it comes with a little bit of a bigger one and the one with a handle and a little one, but I never had anything nearly this size. This is gonna be able to hold so much more. So if I wanna have 20 people over and feed them soup, I can fit it into this pot. So if you are in the business of cooking for a lot of people, you definitely need a pot of this size, I do believe. If you don't have a lot of room in your kitchen or you are only cooking for a couple people normally, this may be an item to pass on, but I am really excited about it. All right, two more, and number nine here is this knife block. So it's a McCook, McCook, um, McCook, however you pronounce that, um, knife block, and it came with six steak knives, six other knives, and it came with these kitchen shears, but then it came with like a free pair of extra scissors. I'm not even sure that I'm supposed to be storing both of them in this little holder thing right here, but that is working for us. So that's what I'm doing. And it has a little knife sharpener on it as well. Now I will say I had never had a fancy pair of knives going into this. So I probably am not the absolute best judge of knife quality, but I can tell a big difference in these knives versus the cheaper knives that I had before this. And these, I thought this knife block was very affordable. It was not um, you know, you can get your $200, $300 knife blocks. It wasn't like that at all, but I honestly can tell a big difference in how these knives cut versus the old set of knives that I had before this. So if you're looking for a little upgrade, you know, maybe not like top line chef quality, but just better knives to upgrade your selection, I would definitely recommend this knife block. All right, so number 10, the one that we've been waiting for, has been sitting over here. You've probably seen it. Let me just set these down really quick. Number 10, is the Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista. And I am completely hooked. I am completely in love with this. And we got it actually at Bed Bath & Beyond. So story time. We had registered for an espresso machine. We had registered for one of the, you know, top of the line, like several hundred dollar espresso machines. And we kind of put it on there like, we might like to have this. If some of our like grandparents want to give it to us, that's kind of cool. But if nobody like gives it to us, I don't know if we're gonna buy it. If we were gonna buy it, we were gonna get a registry discount. So kind of up in the air on that. Got to the end of our registry. That's one of the items we didn't get, which is perfectly fine. And looking for what kind of coffee machine do we want? I wanted something more than just drip pot coffee. Um, I really love lattes made with espresso. Um, pot coffee just does not do the same for me. And this little guy, I think it was around, it was a little under $200 at Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can use a 20% off coupon on it. And so I think for us, it came out to $144 um, for this little espresso machine. And like I said, I am completely in love. It has, this is a milk holder right here. So it slides out um, pretty easily, but not at this angle apparently. There we go. This holds your milk and froths it for you. And then the water tank is in the back here and it just slides up and out really easily. Now, not everything on this is dishwasher safe, so it can be a little bit of upkeep. It has the espresso bar here and you can make espresso cappuccinos or lattes in single or double shot. This little valve moves the milk frother and it just shoots your frothed milk into it, drops the espresso in and you have your latte. I totally love this. We calculated it out and we need to make about 30 lattes to make up for the price of going to Starbucks. I absolutely think that we will be getting our money's worth on this item. So this would be a great gift to ask for or a little treat for yourself. If you have one of those 20% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupons, definitely consider using it on this because it's a great deal when you get 20% off. And if you do give it a try, let me know in the comments because I am completely in love with it. So I hope that these gave you some good ideas for some gifts to maybe pick up for yourself or someone else. If there's something that you got when you got married or a gift that you've received recently that you loved that you think we need to get for our home, please let me know in the comments. We're still setting up our home and getting everything organized. So if there's a must have item, definitely let me know and we'll see you next time.